This is a used lens ordered from one of these two websites and it was rated in excellent condition. I'm Kerry West and you guys may have heard of a couple websites called MPB and KEH. These are both online retailers for used gear. They're both really cool, very easy to use. You can get a quote for anything that you want to sell and then you can purchase things and do a trade online. Both MPB and KEH both have condition ratings. Uh, they're both very similar. MPB has like new, excellent, good, well used, heavily used, and then KEH has like new, like new minus, excellent plus, excellent bargain, and I think there's even some other ones on KEH that they don't show when you try to sell an item to them, but we'll get into that a little bit later. There's good deals to be had on both of these websites, I'm sure, because it doesn't exactly rely on the website, but it more relies on the condition that the items were originally sold to them in. I mean, there's good deals to be had on eBay, there's good deals to be had on Craigslist, there's good deals to be had in back alleys in the black market. So I don't really want to focus on just the quality of the items, but more so on their ratings and what that might communicate to the shopper that's looking at them and expecting a certain level of quality when it arrives at their door. I've used both of these websites to purchase gear, um, but I wanted a little bit more information to really sort of understand how both of these websites treat their customers. So I asked Reddit, I got a few responses there, and I asked my Instagram followers, and I posted a question on YouTube as well. I got quite a few responses, so we're gonna go through some of them now. I'm going to read them, but I'm also just gonna show them on screen for a second, so if you want to ignore my dumb voice, you can go ahead and pause it, and then skip to this timestamp to continue with the video. So we'll start here on Reddit. This guy said he bought a D750 from KEH for around $600, also a 14 to 24 for about 500, both fully functional, cheaper than I could find anywhere else. Both were a little banged up, but absolutely worth the price, IMO. I asked them what KEA had rated them as, such as excellent bargain, etc. They said about two years ago, I don't remember what the rating was, but I think it was their lowest or second lowest rating. I was expecting them to maybe require some repair or have a scratch on the glass, but they were clean and in full working order. As with all of these, I asked if there was any damage to front elements or the sensors that would cause image degradation, and they said, I can't think of any scenario that would lower the image quality. The only caveat is the rings on the lens could use some lubrication. They're a bit noisy. But the D750 is manufactured with a pretty loud shutter anyway, so it was never going to be a wedding photography rig. I still haven't gotten around to having that lens serviced and use it regularly for landscapes. The next one on Reddit ordered from MPB, a model RX 100 Mark III for 290 pounds, so ordered in 2022. The item looked great when I got it, literally like new, and I couldn't find a fault. Also an A6300 for 474 pounds, ordered January of 2023. The quality rating on MPB was excellent. Same as the other one, could not find a fault with the item description. It's worth noting that MPB's picks on the website are the actual pick of the product. Each item is photographed individually and that is not the case on KEH. They use a reference image of the product that you're gonna buy, but it's not the photo of the actual item that you're going to receive. Another one on Reddit, bought a body and two lenses from KEH. The body rated excellent, one lens excellent plus, and one like new minus. All arrived quickly in better condition than anticipated. I'd have been happy with a shutter count of 14,000. It was 915. The only visible indication that any of the items had been used at all was that they didn't come with their original packaging. I saved around $1,000 over buying new, very pleased with the experience. I got another response or two from Reddit, but they didn't really include too much specific information. So let's move on to the people I talked to in DMs on Instagram. I asked all these guys if they would be willing to let me use this conversation in the video since it was a direct message and they all said yes. So this first one said they've ordered from both a number of vintage lenses from KEH and a camera from MPB. So I asked the usual question about quality. They said from MPB, I got a Sony a7R 3 I bought in good condition, which in the description describes the sensor as being clear and still great, but it did have a spot on the upper left sensor that I was never able to remove. From KEH, I got a Jupiter 85 millimeter lens made in the USSR and I have been pretty happy with that one and I 
bought a 50 millimeter lens. I can't recall what brand, but the condition on both seemed pretty solid. But from MPB on that purchase, I was pretty bummed and have since upgraded to an A7R4 in better condition from a private seller as I'm not confident in MPB anymore. They said they ordered the A7R3 from MPB in 2020. This next one is Max, asked the usual questions. They order from MPB three times, always lenses, all Sony FE mount. I chose the cheapest they had, often excellent to good, but never used. Always the products came within one week, didn't have scratches nor dust in the lenses, as stated by them, and they were super clean. I never had any scratches in the glass, but for lesser status that might be the case. Worst I had was a scratch in the middle of the lens. This next one is Josh. He said, I've ordered some lenses and accessories from KEH over the past few years. Asked them the usual questions. I've ordered a couple of shutter release remotes, OEM battery chargers, and a battery grip. They all showed up in the condition described, mostly excellent based on KEH's scale. I bought an EF 50mm f1.4 a few years back, and it was much dirtier and beat up than I would have preferred. If I recall correctly, it was bargain condition. This next one is Nick. He said, I've purchased an old Sony E kit lens for $60, an FE Tamron 28-75 f2.8 for $700, and a Fuji 27mm f2.8 pancake for $300. They were all either excellent or like new, I believe. I asked the usual question. Nope, they always came with zero wear. The worst was that cheap kit lens. It had a scuff on the barrel, but the optics were perfect. I imagine the lower graded stuff, good slash fair, would maybe have damage that affects image quality. Fair thing to assume. I always assumed that as well. And now I've got one more. This is a viewer of my channel and a follower on my Instagram. What's up, Jeff? And there's a reason that I saved this one for last. He ordered from MPB. I ordered my Sony a7R 3 from MPB in the fall of 21 for $1750 roughly. Rated excellent, I believe. Long story short, it had a scratch on the sensor that I didn't notice until a few days later when I was pixel peeping this dope sunrise shot on Thanksgiving. I was like, what the hell is this? But I called them up and they were awesome and I sent some pictures of it to them and sent it back and they got me a replacement in just under a week. I have had zero issues with it since and am overall happy with the experience. Would have been nicer to not have to deal with that, but what can you do? The next item from MPB was my girl's camera. Bought shortly after mine, she went with a Sony a6500. I don't remember off the top of my head what she paid, but ballpark seven to eight hundred dollars ish. Also rated excellent. Shipped fast. Great start. Opened the box. Looks great. Turned it on. Menu is all Japanese. Okay, well, must be a way to get it to English then, right? Nope. Okay. What the fuck? How did they miss that one? So once again, customer service was awesome and shipped out a replacement right away. Camera arrived in great shape and in English this time, and we haven't had any issues since, but what the fuck, lol. That was two issues in like two months, and I shouldn't have gotten to know the people at the FedEx office as well as I did as a result. The customer service people were great, I just wish I didn't have to speak to them both times, and with two high value items, and deal with the hassle of going to FedEx twice. So based on this information, I'm wondering if you might be able to guess where this lens came from. I ordered this one from MPB rated excellent. I'm editing this right now and I just wanted to jump in and and say that uh, my buddy Chris also got back to me a little bit after everybody else and he said that KEH is hit or miss. He says that they're often missing uh, front or rear lens caps. He says that the quality grade is off in his opinion. Um, no noticeable scratches but one lens was a Sigma 2.8 zoom and it skips when he uses it. It happened about a month after having it. I just wanted to get that in there and say that because it definitely seems like it's far weighted towards KEH at this point as far as how positive people are being but again I, I did get positive responses about MPB and I got positive responses about KEH as well so I just wanted to say that also thank you to everybody who messaged me and um, who's also a viewer of my channel I really appreciate you guys and I just I really appreciate you guys just being honest about your experiences quite a bit dirtier than I was used to dealing with KEH Granted, this is the first thing I've bought from MPB, so maybe I just got unlucky, I don't know. But it was a bit dirty, so I cleaned it up, and I realized that some of the dirt on the front element were pretty deep scratches. I stopped it down to f22 and I shot a picture of the sky just to see how much it would show up in images and you can definitely see it. I'm sure some of these dots are dirt that I just didn't get off or sensor dust or something. But I can pretty much guarantee if I shot this lens stop down all the time, those scratches would definitely be visible. But even if it was just dirty, that's already a bit worse than what I've dealt with from KEH. I don't know what it is. They seem to clean their stuff a lot better. Most of the time when I get something from KEH, it looks 
brand new besides the wear and tear from use, especially on the outside of the lenses. Now let me make this clear. I'm not getting rid of this lens. I'm not sending it back. It'll work fine for me. I really never plan to stop this down that far. I'm mostly going to use it for video and street. At most, it'll probably be at f8. It's just not that big of a deal for me, personally. I bought this lens. Total, after tax, was $553. On MPB, it was listed at $509 in excellent condition. So either way, I got a good deal on it. I'm not all that stressed about it. It's a $750 lens brand new, but I know that some people would not find this acceptable for a lens. I, I know some people do like to shoot at narrow apertures and I'm sure that somebody would have a problem with it. Now, as I said, this is the first item I've bought from MPB. I've ordered quite a few things from KEH over the past few years. A lot of them I've already sold. Um, some of them were some Micro Four Thirds gear. So as of right now, I only have two items still that I bought from KEH. The two items I have right now are my a7 III, I bought this used, and my Sigma 14 to 24. Now this lens, about a month ago, I actually forgot that I got this from KEH. I always just had it in my head that I bought it brand new from a store because it's literally perfect. And granted, this one was marked as like new minus. So I guess that's saying something. Um, it was pretty close to MSRP though. So I'm not really gonna consider this one when thinking about this topic too much, but I thought I'd throw that in there. And then my a7 III, I bought this one used on KEH as well. This shipped in excellent plus condition. There's obviously some little small amounts of finger wear and stuff like that. I mean, I've used it a bunch since then too. I, I didn't take pictures of it when I first got it but I do remember a ballpark of the shutter actuations. This is still a $2,000 camera, so when I bought it, it was also $2,000. I got it for $1,509, $1,569 after taxes. The shutter actuations, I don't remember the exact number, but I believe it was like under a thousand, which is basically a brand new camera. That could just be said that the a7 III was often used by filmmakers and stuff, so maybe they just weren't a photographer, but still, you have to think that they look at the shutter actuations when they get a camera in, and to save $500 on basically a brand new camera was pretty amazing. And then as I said, the rest of the stuff I sold already, uh, this Lumix 35 to 100, I got for 673. That thing was optically perfect. It was an excellent graded product. The Olympus 17 millimeter F1.8 was excellent plus. Also, zero image degradation problems. Now, it seems to me, as I said, there are deals to be had on both websites. I think KEH just has a wider rating system going on. I looked through a couple of items that were identical on both. So on KEH, this Sony 35mm Excellent Plus condition is $555. So that's, you know, about 50 bucks more than what I paid for it in excellent condition. And that's what leads me to believe that it's not that MPB's prices are wrong, but I think that their grading scale is just different. I'm so used to KEH's grading scale that I was expecting this to be basically perfect. And I mean, I noticed those scratches immediately when opening it. The Olympus 17 millimeter, I paid 299. And on MPB, a like new is 359. I looked up a Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4, and this is a little bit interesting. These lenses should be identical, but as you can see on KEH, they don't photograph the actual item, but they still got it right here. I'm not sure if you know much about the Sigmas, but these DGDNs are not these lenses. So if they did photograph this item individually, they photographed the wrong item. It looks like they have pricing for a DGDN. The DGDNs are the newer ones. This one is a, a basically cobbled together DSLR lens. As you can see, it has the, the little focus window in here. So something went wrong with this particular listing, and this is honestly one of the first ones I saw. So I'm not sure how common this is, but it very well could be. So just keep that in mind. Over here on KEH, this is the correct item and this is the correct image. As you can see here, this is what the DGDN for Sony E-mount or L-mount looks like. So I would expect whoever buys this would have to do what Jeff did and send it back and have a replacement issued. Over here onto a Sigma 65 F2. This is the correct item shown on this one. This is a like new at 514. And then over here, like new minus on KEH for 554. And this is one item that leads me to believe that their scales are different. A like new on KEH might get you further than a like new on MPB. Here's another one, a Zeiss Battis 85mm f1.8, like new on MPB, and then like new on KEH is quite a bit more expensive. 
And looking here, every single like new condition of this lens is the exact same price. Whereas on KEH, they sort of have a sliding scale. It's a little bit more analog over here. So I think that maybe either KEH inspects the lenses closer, and I would expect a like new Zeiss 85 mil to probably be closer to this price. So there is something to be said for MPB issuing this price for every single like new that they find. There's probably a good chance that you could find a perfectly like new lens on MPB and end up paying a little bit less for it. So I just recently bought this lens from MPB and these questions were sort of already swirling in my head. And then just the other day, I noticed that Omar Gonzalez Photography uploaded this video where he bought an ugly rated lens from KEH, a Nikon telephoto zoom. Today we're gonna unbox a, an ugly rated lens from KEH, not sponsored by. You know, the plastic, you know, the plastic is crazy. There is something to be said as well for the packaging. I do agree that KEH uses a lot of plastic and I understand the need to protect the items that you're shipping, but MPB is able to do it with all paper. I mean, they're both not great for the environment, but plastic is infinitely worse. This is how much this lens costs brand new, okay? And this is how much we paid for it. <laughs> Ugly. And this is kind of how much it usually goes for. Okay, the, my first impression is that it looks really, really clean. Super clean. KEH, very good at cleaning. Okay. Um, I don't know, but to me, that looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, so this is an ugly rated lens. No fungus. I don't understand why this is ugly. Like the lenses I own personally are uglier than this. Okay, it totally auto, it auto, it auto focuses. Now I've never bought an ugly or even bargain item from KEH, so I'm not sure if this is the norm, but this lines up pretty close with what my experience has been. I've always been very surprised at how well the items show up looking. And I am science on Reddit, his experience with his camera body from KEH was very close to mine with the a7 III. I was shocked to see that it was basically a brand new camera for a much lower price. The fact that they considered this ugly just gives me a little bit more faith in KEH than MPB at this point. And it makes me wonder, maybe their attention to detail at MPB is just not quite as high. Um, and that does sort of match. I looked on LinkedIn for both of these companies. KEH was founded in 1979 and MPB was founded in 2011. So maybe this is growing pains, I'm not really sure. I thought maybe MPB has a smaller team, so I looked for that too. KEH has 51 to 200 employees and MPB has 201 to 500 employees. I think KEH is very conservative with their ratings and I think that it ultimately benefits the customer at the end of the day. If you're buying from KEH and it has excellent or like new, the chances that you're gonna get an optically perfect lens in my estimation are pretty high. I think MPB is still a great choice. Um, they do seem to have a wider selection. Um, anytime that I was looking for something specific, the chances I'd find it on MPB were higher than when I was looking on KEH, it, just as far as my research goes. And it is good that they photograph each item individually, though it seems that they might have to do that because of the mistakes we saw in some of those listings. So to sort of wrap into a conclusion here, I don't have a ton of experience with these two websites, but I have a little bit now. MPB is great, and if MPB is great, then KEH is f***ing really great, and they've sort of set the bar pretty high. And like I said, I don't think MPB is a bad option at all. I think it's great to have competition. So if you're asking the question, should you use MPB or KEH, I think the answer is yes. <laughs> if you're looking for something specific, look on KEH first. If they have it, buy it because in my experience, KEH stuff goes real quick. If you see something you want and it's for a decent price, just buy it because the chances of it not being there the next day are pretty high. If you can't find what you're looking for on KEH, then I don't think it's gonna hurt you to go to MPB. So anyway, I really hope this helped you guys. I'm still gonna be ordering from both, just depending on what I need. So if you liked this video, found it useful or helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing. Um, I do street photography and stuff, and uh, I can't wait to get out there and use this lens, even though it's not perfect. I'll see you guys in the next one.